If I left then it ain't no sense So they turn your friends and they call me your friends Baby never mind, 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 never mind. But If I left then it ain't no sense So they turn your friends and they call me your friends Baby never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind Hi to all our junior squad members uh, Welcome to week 2 online lessons So this week we're doing some work on our leaps um, this lesson can be done inside or outdoors. You just need a little bit of space to move. We're going to be doing some kicks, some hops and some small leaps. Um, so you might have a space indoors that you can do it, otherwise outside. Um, you also need something to help you balance while we're doing our kicks. So a chair that you can hold on to or a wall that you can hold on to. If you have one, this is for a fun activity at the end. So if you don't have one, it's not a problem. Um, and you need to find some uh, objects that you can leap over. Um, so I've got two boxes. Um, I'm going to stack these so they're just above my knee height. So you might have some bottles or something um, that you can use. You just want something that if you crash into it, it's not going to break um, or hurt you. Uh, okay, so that's what we're looking for. All right, let's get going. We're going to start with our kicks. I'm just going to put some music on and we're going to do our kicks along to the music. Um, so when we do our kicks, we want to make sure that our little toe touches the ground. Have nice present arms. I'm going to hold on to your wall or your chair. So I'm just going to use the chair. Okay, we're going to do kicks this way. Okay, then we're going to do some sideways ones. So for the sideways ones, um, I'm just going to face this way. You can turn against the wall if you need to, or your chair. Um, so sideways ones out here, and then backwards ones, and then some needle kicks as well. So this way. All right, let's get going. Okay, so we're going to start left leg first. Okay, ready? And go. Three, four. This is the last one in sideways. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four. Five, and behind, one, two, three, four, five, and needle picks, go, one, Up. 
five and needle picks. One, two, three, four, five. Nice work. Okay, so hopefully our muscles are nice and warm now. Um, that's to help a little bit of our flexibility also to make sure that when you do your leaps that your legs can move into splits really fast. Um, so it's important when we're practicing this one that we do the kicks nice and quickly. Um, that's why we've got the music going to keep us um, at the right speed. Okay, the next one we're going to do is some hops. So we're going to start with our right foot in front and our arms out in present shape. Okay, so when we do leaps, this would be our position, <coughs> except our legs would be in split for a split leap. Okay, so we're going to do a hop nice and high. As we go up in the air, we're going to make a pivot shape. Can you show me your pivot shape? Okay, so here, our toe points to our knee. Alright, so we're going to try one on the right foot first. What I want to see is as much height as possible. So we're going to go up. How did you go? Okay, make sure that when we go up, our toes pointed and there's a gap between your toe and the ground. So up nice and high, ready? Nice work. Okay, we're gonna try two more on this leg. Ready, one, up, and two, up. Nice work, we're gonna try the other leg this time. So remember, we're looking for a gap between our toes and the floor. Ready, up. Can you point your toes nice and straight down to the floor? Two. Three. See if you can get this one even higher. Four. Nice work. Okay, the next one we're going to do is like a step kick. Okay, so we're going to start, I'm going to do kick with my right leg. So my left leg goes in front. We're going to kick up nice and high and go up onto tippy toes. Okay, like this, except when we land this time, we're going to finish in a relevé hold. Okay, so we're going to go step up and hold. Okay, so see if we can hold it. We'll try another one. Ready? Swing up and hold. How are you going? Okay, make sure you get a nice strong push up onto your toes. Ready? And up onto toes. Good. Two more on this leg. Ready? Nice, and one more. Good work, we're going to try it on the other leg as well. Um, when you get a bit older, you'll end up leaping off both legs, um, depending what leaps you're doing. So that's why we're going to practice both legs. Um, so if we're swinging with our left this time, our right foot starts in front. Arms out, ready, up, pull, and hold. Nice work, try again. Good. Remember, nice and strong up onto your toes. Want to get a big push off the ground for our legs so we get lots of height. Okay, two more. Nice work. One to go. Good work. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is a little bit the same. We're going to kick behind this time. So we're working on our back leg. Um, and we're going to finish, instead of releve, we're going to do our leap finishing position. So can you show me your leap finish position? Okay, so we want to make sure our chest up nice and tall. Okay, we don't want to bend over. Keep our body up and our leg nice and straight behind us. And this leg is bent. Okay, we don't want to land our leap on a straight leg. So let's try that position again. Ready? Nice work. <clears throat> okay, so this time uh, we're going to kick behind. So we're going to start on our right leg, kick behind, up onto toes, and land. Good work. Okay, ready? Kick behind, and land. Okay, ready? When we kick, go up onto toes, like we did on the last one. Ready? Kick up onto toes, and land. It's a little bit wobbly. Okay, ready? Kick up, and land. We have one more of these ones. And left. Good. All right, we're going to try the left leg. Okay, so push up onto toes. Oh, I've gone too far forward, so make sure we keep our chest up. Did you manage to hit your landing position? Nice work. Okay, we're going to practice a few more. Kick up and land. 
Good work. This one's a really tricky balance, isn't it? Okay, ready? Up and land. We've got two more on this leg. Good. And last one. Good work. So mine improved a little bit, even just doing those few. Hopefully yours did as well. All right, this time we're going to join it together. So when we did our jump before forwards, or we went up onto toes, this time we're going to add the jump, and then we're going to land in our finishing position. Okay, so we're going to swing up, jump, and land. Now you can choose which leg you'd like to practice this one on. Okay, so my splits are better on my right leg, uh, so that's why I'm going to do my right leg, but you might be better on your left. Um, after the video finishes, you might want to practice some on both legs. It's really good to be able to leap on both legs, uh, but because you're mostly just learning split leaps, uh, we're going to do your good leg today. Alright, so ready, arms out. We're going to kick and push off our toes. Leap and land. How did you go? Alright, we're going to try another one. Ready, nice high kick. Leap. Okay, so I want you to try and imagine that you're going over something quite high. Alright, so I'm just going to set up my tower. Okay, so the next one, um, we're going to try leaping over the boxes. So instead of swinging into it, we're going to start with our leg raised. Okay, so we're going to start in this position. Otherwise, if I swung my leg, I'd kick the blocks over. So you want to start reasonably close to your blocks. Okay, and leg goes over the top. Okay, we get our balance. Then we're going to bend this leg and jump to land on the other side. So you want to make sure that your back leg doesn't hang down and touch those boxes. Alright, so we're going to try a few more of these. Okay, so one leg over. And leap. And hold. Nice work, that's two. We're going to do a few more. Okay, ready? Remember your nice balancing arms. Okay, two more. Okay, squeeze those legs and big jump. Good, we're going to try one more. Okay, really see if you can hold that leg up this time. Good work. Did you manage to do all five without hitting your boxes? If the boxes fell over and you have to pause the video, that's fine. Just make sure you do about five to practice. Okay, we're going to put these over here out of the way now. Okay, so our next um, leap that we're going to try is called a cat leap. Um, some of you might have done these before, some maybe not. Um, so what we're going to practice first of all is our leg position in the air. Um, so with a cat leap, you can all stand like this with your um, little toe pointing down towards the ground. Okay, we're going to lift our leg and then bend it. Okay, so your knee kind of points out to the side rather than straight up. It goes out a wee bit. Okay, so one leg there. The other leg's going to do the same thing. So can you try it on your other leg? Okay, so this is our position here. To make it nice and easy for a start, we're just going to have our arms down to the side. I don't mind what your arms do. If you need them for balance, that's also fine. Okay, but we're just going to practice the legs for now. So a cat leap looks like this. Okay, so you step, pick one leg up, and swap to the other leg. Okay, so our starting position is here. Okay, and then our finishing position will be with one leg behind. So see if you can try and hit those as well. So starting position, I'm gonna give it a go this time. Okay, ready? So kick one leg up and then swap. Okay, good. Mine went a bit sideways that time. All right, we're gonna try a few more. You can try some on both legs. So I did one on left leg and one on right. Okay, so we're gonna try it right this time. Good. one more you can choose which leg you'd like to do maybe whichever one feels most comfortable for you good work all right we're going to add the arms in so the arms with a cat leap do a big circle okay can you try that with me so our arms go up they're a little bit bent okay they go up above our head and out to finish and present okay we're going to try it all together ready Okay, step, switch our legs. 
good whack. How did you go? Get a bit tangled? This one's tricky. All right, ready? Up and swap our legs. Arms go around. Okay, good work. I'm gonna try a few more just to make sure you get the hang of it. Good work. You can try it on your other leg if you feel um, brave. Okay, ready? And one last one. Good work. So that's something you can keep practicing um, after the video is finished as well if you'd like to. Um, the next one we're going to do is called a reverse cat leap. So that's when we kick behind this way, okay, instead of in front. So the leg position for this one's a little bit um, funny. So we bend our legs, okay, but we want our knee back behind us. Okay, we want to make quite an open shape. We don't want to kick ourselves in the bottom too much, okay, and we don't want our legs all the way out here. Okay, so we just want to bend our leg and then push your knee back a little bit into this kind of position. So this one is practicing for um, sheep jumps and ring leaps, which is something you might learn later on. Um, you might want to jump on Google and see what they are, see what this is working towards. Okay, so the reverse cat leap is just like the forwards one. We swap our legs in the air. Okay, so I'm going to show you one. Have a watch and then you can have a try as well. Ready? So we're going to go up and it has the same finishing position as the forwards one. Okay, would you like to give it a go this time? Okay, ready? So you can choose whichever leg you'd like. Okay, ready? Step and swap. Good work. This one's a bit tricky because you can't see what your legs are doing. So you might want to get someone to see um, or to video for you. If you're practicing these ones a bit later on and see what it looks like. Okay, ready? Good. All right, we can do two more. Okay, last one. Good work. Okay, the next one we're going to practice is called a scissor kick. So a scissor kick is like the cat leg, we switch our legs except they're straight this time. Okay, so it's like when we do our step kick, except we swap our legs and then finish just like the cat leg. Okay, I reckon you can give this one a go. Alright, ready, so starting position is exactly the same. Instead of bent legs, we're doing them straight. How did you go? Nice work. Alright, another one. Good. See if you can try it on the other leg. It might be a bit tricky. I might get tangled up on this one. Okay, so we're going to try and get our legs above horizontal if you can. Okay, but more importantly, keeping them nice and straight. Okay, one more. You can choose which leg. Alright, the last activity we're going to do is something just for a little bit of fun you can practice after the video is finished. Um, so we're going to grab our balloon. Mine's blown away, so I'm just going to go grab it. Alright, so this one is to practice our, our strength and our hip flexors to be able to lift our leg up into the leap. Okay, so we have our balloon. Um, you have to stand on one foot and you're um, not allowed to let the balloon touch the ground. You're only allowed to use the leg that's in the air to bounce it back up. Okay, so you can't use your hands or your head or anything else. Um, you can hop to move to chase it, that's fine. Just be really careful that you don't crash into anything. Um, and your leg can be bent or straight, you can have flexed toes, it doesn't matter. Um, and any part of your leg can hit the balloon. Okay, so that's your challenge. So, a bit like this. Okay. Well, it's freaking tricky, it's running away from me, wow! Okay, so see how many you can do before your balloon disappears like mine, um, or before it touches the ground. Make sure you try it on both legs. Alright, well, I hope you all enjoyed the leap lesson today. Keep on practicing some of your cat leaps, um, your leap drills, and uh, we'll see you for the next lesson. Bye!